Hi, Amber. How are you? Good. How are you? How's everybody? Well. Hello, hello, everyone. So in case you guys are joining us for the very first time, I'm Hanya Hanielas and... Uh, I'm Amber from Sweet Ams. Hi, everyone. So hello, hello. So let's see who is here today. Hello, Joseph. How is it going, Joseph? Marie, hi, Teresa. Hi, Camille. Camille, good to see you oh, too. I didn't realize you are in Utah. How is it in Utah? How is the weather, guys, for you? Is it? Oh, I see Kim. It's chilly in Kansas. Oh. <laughs> well, we did. Yeah, we didn't take it here. It's cold. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh, hello. Hi, Grandma. Hello, hello. So Amber <clears throat> is in a hot seat today. Hello, Byron. Hello, everyone. Diane, Nettie, we see you. Thank you for being here. Oh, snowy in Utah. So uh, what I, I'm curious, what is it that you are going to show us today? I'm going to be making daisy cookies. Perfect. Um, so yeah, we, we all need that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's these cookies, right? Let me bring up the screen. So these, yeah. I love the background. Can you, um, I mean, once you get to it, you need to tell us what color you use. I love that. Oh, yes, of course. I know uh, Kim had mentioned it's a little blurry as usual. I'm having internet problems. <laughs> Okay, we can still see. We tried oh. everything and just cannot figure it out. Hello, June. Hi, Ginger. Oh, thank you. All right, so should we get started? Yes, absolutely. I also noticed you used your chocolate cookie, right? Is, is yeah. it a chocolate base? It is see, my I've kind of I've been noticing you've been using it more and more. Is it something? Why, yeah, why is like that? So I just, I don't know what happened, but I just decided that I love, I like only <laughs> want to use this recipe now. Here it is like without the icing on it. This is the chocolate cookie recipe. It's rolled to like just under a quarter inch thick. The recipe mm -hmm. is in um, my book, Cookie Canvas, and it's also in the Cookie Art Club. Thank you. So Hannah, I don't know if you want to just put that link in the comments for the Cookie Art Club. Yes, so that's I'm, doing, uh, I'm doing it right now. Well, thank you. So that's just like a where all so my recipes. Is, are is the you. Cookie Art Club? Can you tell us a little bit? Yes. A little bit so about the, it? the Cookie Art Club is a subscription. You can sign up for a monthly or yearly. It's cheaper if you do for the year. You get two months free that way. And uh, you get access to my recipes and all my tutorials. Um, you can ask questions to me and to each other. You can share your photos there. It's just a really fun community. Everybody's been so amazing, like posting their beautiful cookie pictures. It's really, it's been a lot of fun for me. So yeah, come, and there's also a seven day free trial. So if you click the link and sign up, you'll get seven days free. If you hate it, no problem. But, yeah, I, I think I think the word hate was banned from live stream. Remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, I just want to say say ahoy, Albina. Ahoy um, to Slovakia. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna flood this cookie. I'm, oh, using I'm, this. I'm dying to know. Is this? I'm gonna yeah. just do a, a guess. Okay, um, um, it's uh, navy blue with some black. Close. Oh. It's royal oh. blue with black. Oh, royal blue. Okay, yeah, the royal blue. Yes, that makes yes. sense. Yes. Chef royal Master blue. color, so it's royal blue with black. The nails are somewhat of a coincidence, but I'm just like into this color, so of course, like you know, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be all over. So June, I'm, gonna I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt, June. I uh, I'm aware of it. It's only going to my YouTube now. I'm only able to do it to. To YouTube, so um, the live live stream is coming up on Amber's Facebook and YouTube, and on my YouTube channel. Yes. 
And you're using a tipless bag today? No. Oh, okay. okay. We yeah. need to. Uh, it's a um, nail nail polish stop. So let let's see your. Are they they are matching your cookies? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is it like a perfect match? It's I close. It's close. The icing is a little close. bit lighter. Close. <laughs> Okay, so this time I'm not going to flood the whole cookie. I'm just kind of flooding the outside of this cookie. Did anybody watch my Instagram live last week where I was um, showing a little bit of these cookies? I was live for like, I don't know, maybe I, 15 minutes. We were because I, um, um, I think I got notification, but I saw it a little too late and the live mm -hmm. was then. Gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I didn't. Oh, that's okay. Next time. It was like, I didn't announce it or anything. I just decided I was working on this and I figured I would go live and talk Thank about it. Thank you, guys. Mar Marcia loves the colors. Thank you. Using my scribe tool to shape it and bring it a little bit closer to the edge. Where is this cutter from? I feel like I have this cutter oh, also. Here, look. Yeah, I think everybody has this, right? It's a Wilton flower cutter. This one has 10 scallops. If you're looking online, you're not sure. There are some that have eight. I like the 10. I think that's like the perfect, perfect number of scallops. Yeah, it's not too tight, not too mm -hmm. uh, loose. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to use a brush if I can find it. Here it is. And then I'm just going to take this icing and bring it into the center. Because I don't want to have a whole bunch of icing in the middle because the flower center is already really high. So I don't want to have this thick layer of icing on here underneath. but I do want to have a little bit of that blue showing through the petals. This is flood consistency icing, Pamela was asking. This is 15 to 20 second count. So that just means when you take a scoop of icing and drop it back into the bowl, it takes about 15 to 20 seconds to be completely smooth. Okay, so then this would have to dry. Not, it doesn't have to dry overnight. Just dry enough that you can pipe on it um, without damaging. So I would say two hours at least. Mm -hmm. Kim, so, I think everybody is. Was that a brush by Milton? The from the Milton Five set. Yes, I love that set. Yeah, it's my favorite set. I think it's just like it's. I I have like two of those. I think. Two yeah, sets. I know. I have like yeah, so many. Hi, Judy. Hi. Happy spring to you as well. Happy spring to you all. I know for some of you it doesn't look like spring and yeah. it's probably very cold. And I've got some messages today from friends that it's snowing mm -hmm. or are now like teasing them with the images of sun. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Hopefully um, by, the, by the Easter, it will, you know, the things will warm up for you guys. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just using um, medium consistency icing. And you know, I forgot a step. So I'm gonna oh, you use did? That's okay. Yes, I we, did. We, we, we sometimes see this is, this is what happens, guys. So if you do forget the step or make a mistake, you can scrape the icing off. During the lives, sometimes, you know, we, we talk, we respond to your questions. So we get kind of. Our, our brain, I don't want to <laughs> say that it shuts down, but sometimes it, this happens. So um, while you're doing that, can you use clean brand new paint brushes? Yeah, or I've done that before. Too. I have a lot of just paint, you know, from the craft store that yeah. are just brushes and, you know, just use them for icing and nothing else. All right, so now I'm going to use a cookie cutter, a small round cutter, and then I will trace the cutter. Oh, I see. Middle. So that way I just have a guide where to end my petals. Mm -hmm. So you're just scratching the surface, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can see it clearly. Yeah. And I, I, and I think this cutter is from the nesting set, no? Uh, Atika yes. maybe? 
Yeah. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so medium consistency icing holds a soft peak. And I have a tip three on here. And then just squeeze to make this a little bit thicker in the middle and then taper it off at the end. What was the, I, I missed that, what was the, is it number three? Yes, Maybe. three. Mm -hmm. So they're a little bit more narrow in the, at the ends and thicker in the middle. Oh, Kim says it looks like spring there, but it's like an April Fool's spring because it doesn't feel like it. Oh, yeah. So the April Fool's Day is coming up, coming up, right? Do you guys <laughs> do any fun for that? For the April Fool's Day, I know Amber does a few things with her daughters. Yeah, I'll probably do some things throughout the day. It's on a Saturday this year, which is fun. Is it? Is it Saturday? Oh, maybe I yeah, can do something as well. Saturday. Yeah, I love that. I mean, it's not a holiday, but I love that. It's fun. So Joseph is asking about new schedule right now. We're we're doing every other week. Marlon is taking a little break. We just need a little more time to focus on our work and our family. So we're doing every other week. So um, in two weeks, I'll be live. Mm -hmm. I think it's, yeah. So it's basically like each of us are going to go once a month now. Instead of, month, yes. Um, and you will get a reminder. Yeah. Yeah. We will we'll get a send out our I just unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't able to send out the. Uh, I did send out a reminder today. Oh, what are you doing here? So let's now I just thing. have a little a little brush. This brush is from New York Cake, and I'm just brushing down the middle to give it. Did you? Well, I see you didn't wait at all. It's a little bit wet. It is, yeah. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. I mean, I don't know if it really needs. Probably doesn't need to be. It's just it's a just habit of mine. Like a like a um you're making like a channel yes so <laughs> just to give it more of like a realistic petal look because you know how like a daisy petal kind of has that line down the middle yes diana there you will be able to um watch the replay once we are done with the live it's available, this live will be, will be available on both of our YouTube channels and also on Amber's Facebook page. And all the lives, all the previous lives from, I think now it's going to be three years worth are listed there in a, yeah, in a wow. uh, library. It's easier, I have to say, to find it on YouTube than it is on Facebook, but it depends where, you know, what, what you are more familiar with. Yeah. Okay. So yes, just her eyes are matching the cookies. Yeah. I would be disappointed if it wasn't the case. <laughs> oh, wow, it's 1.15. Where are you, Diana? I mean, that's uh, very late. Thank you for being here so late, but go to bed. It's important you get your sleep. You can, re you can watch this later. Yes. So this is a good question. Why would you choose tip a tip versus versus a no tip a packing bag? I like tips because I feel like it gives me more control over the icing and gives like more of a rounder opening. Mm -hmm. um, but you saw at the beginning that I didn't use a tip. So that way, you know, what if I'm flooding, I just don't really feel like I need the tip because I'm going to be using the scribe tool to shape it anyway. But for something that is very detailed, I like to use tips. And what about you? I know that you use a lot of tips. Yeah, I, I use a lot of tip plus bags. I do like to use tips if I'm not lazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like for certain things, it's like you say, for certain things, it just comes out a bit nicer. So, um, yeah, for like, for example, for flowers and things like that, I obviously would use a tip, like for roses and, and things like that. Or if I need to make a, a rosette, you use a star tip. Um, but mainly I use tip less. Yeah. yeah. For detail, I mean, for, for fine details, it's nice to have like 1.5 PME, which gives you really nice um, 
thin but not too thin lines so you can do some oh yeah stuff like that um this is a tip so eight which is like a larger round so like tip. A large round tip yeah this is, and then stiff consistency icing for the flower center so the white icing ginger is asking is inside the circle you drew yeah, I be basically, I mean, the, the the circle you made, right? It's the, <laughs> uh, the border where you you try to finish the petals. Yes. Right? Some, something like so I, that. Yeah, so just like, like kind of over. right inside yeah. the circle. Ms. Right. Joseph, you can post your question. So now no, okay. we will be doing, at this point, we will not be doing every week. We will be doing every other week. But if you are... Um, subscribed or signed up to my, for my newsletter. I'm going to put that in. Um, actually, the newsletter I'm putting in now, the link, it's a link to the blog newsletter. But within that newsletter, you will have a choice to sign up either for the blog or you can also follow the cookie, just the cookie decorating part. I have a um, newsletter just for the cookie decorating. So through that, you will get a reminder for the lives. So the brushes Amber used today are from Wilton. They and are then right. The smaller one. one. If I have, okay, let me. Um, yeah, the big, the flat one was from Wilton, the one that I used at the beginning, and then the smaller thin one was from New York Cake. Okay. Yeah, I have. Oh my goodness, I have the, the purple ones. I I was just counting. I have so many of them. Yeah, I have a ton. Oh. Yeah, the purple ones, they are from Wilton, and they are so good to have. Yeah. So, because they, they this, the set of five comes with a really nice variety. There's a flat brush. There's a, like a really fluffy, almost like a small makeup brush. Um, also, like a fine brush. But obviously, you may need more brushes. This is beautiful. Thanks. So, even just like, just leaving it white, I think is really pretty. It's mm. beautiful. But then you would uh, let this dry overnight and paint it. So before I paint, would you want to um, just talk about what we've got going on? Let's see. Um, I wanted to show you guys so what I've been working on. Now, I haven't decorated anything in a month, I have to say, because I'm, I'm still on a mend with the shoulder. Um, they figured out that I did have an injury. So maybe that's why it's going to take a little longer. Mm -hmm. But I started to decorate today for my patrons, and I wanted to just share with you, I did uh, share a few recipes on the blog, so if you are in the need of a good recipe for hot cross buns for your Easter um, spread, this is such a good recipe. It's so, so it's good. Really good. Yeah, the recipe is on the blog, and I also want to share something really fun. I do have a recipe I promised you for cream cheese cookies, and that's hopefully coming up this week. These are addictive. I, I can't stop eating. I, <laughs> I use some cardamom, not cardamom, uh, orange zest in these. Because um, we had just lots of oranges. So I use some orange zest and they're absolutely to die for. Looks so, really but good. they are soft, like they are not um, like a shortbread. They are more like a softer cook. Like um, when they bake, they are very kind of firm. But as they sit, they get a little, little softer. Very mm. good. I also want to share, I mean, this is uh, a tutorial I have on the blog. So if you need some inspiration for some Easter cookies, these are fairly simple, especially chicks are so, uh, and I just noticed the chick is missing legs. <laughs> One of the chicks. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after all these years. And if you're following me on Instagram, I mean, we both, Amber and I are also on Instagram. So if you're not following Join us on Instagram. We often share all different updates and um, uh, what's going on in a story. So I'm gonna, just going to share a little. This is not cookie related, but maybe um, maybe I will use this in a cookie recipe. I don't Anyone can tell us what is it that I'm making? Can you guys tell what, what is it that I was uh, making there? I already know, so I won't. <laughs> you know, 
I won't try to guess. Oh, I hello. So Elisabeth uh, from Italy, you probably know, right? You might be familiar. It's uh, from the coast of, is it Al 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 Alamafi? Alamafi, I'm, gonna, I'm butchering it totally. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm making, uh, oh, limoncello, yes. Yes, yeah. so I decided to, we have uh, lemon trees, so I decided to try my own limoncello. And um, when I send this to my friends, they're all like, you're gonna kill someone because of the alcohol. <laughs> Content, but I researched it, and this is a really good alcohol for uh, macerating fruit. So that's why I'm using it. And obviously, I'm going to be adding uh, sugar syrup after. I think I'm going to be doing it for 40 days. So every oh, day wow. I, have to, I have to kind of like mix it. And then after 40 days, I'm going to drain it and add the sugar syrup. And um, I will film that as well. And the recipe will be on the blog. So if you guys want to try it, it will be there. No, that that was uh, that was actually very strong alcohol that I added to my yes limoncello. So everybody knows. <laughs> and I, uh, so that's new. Oh, you love the recipe with cauliflower? Yes, guys. My blog also is a combination of savory and sweet recipes. So if you are new to Hanielas, you'll find different uh, um, recipes there. I do like recipes with lots of vegetables and. Um, bread so everything is on the blog amalfi thank you maria that's the coast of amalfi i think that's where the limoncello um, originated so back to you <laughs> Amber, All right. beautiful uh daisy cookies i think i did put a link here to my newsletter so you guys can sign up there okay let's uh okay so this one there. is um to totally dry oh so you you let it dry um, yeah like not, it didn't dry when I was talking. You right. Were, this is another one. Mm -hmm. before. So now to paint the center, I'm using um, Sweet Sticks Edible Paint. This one's yellow. This one's called Bright Melon Green. Oh, that yellow is that? It looks like gold. It's. I know it's. It, it is. Um, it looks more like a golden yellow, but it's it's mm -hmm. yellow. It's very yellow, okay. Yeah. So wait. these are just like, you know, liquid. Um, they also sell powders, but I just started using the, the liquid recently and I really, I like these. I have the blue, I have their blue and some other color. Blue yeah. and something, but I rarely really paint, so I haven't used them much. Oh yeah, I, I paint a lot, I think. Yes, you do, you do have, uh, <laughs> you do yeah. paint a lot. I'm going to bring out another brush from a different brand now. This one is from Sweet Sticks. So that's the same brand that makes the paint. Very, very kind of tapered, right? Yeah, this is this one's called a round brush. This is a size four. Mm -hmm. OK, size one four. One of my favorites of theirs. Yes, Teresa, Teresa, you can, Teresa, you can, Teresa. Can you can, yes, you can view this later. Yes, absolutely. You can view this on YouTube or Facebook. And then I always turn these into like full tutorials with all the instructions and put them on Patreon and in the Cookie Art Club. Yes, so that you basically answered the, the question Chris, I was asking. Amber, is this in your art club? So yes. Oh yeah. It's not there yet, but it will be. The supply list is there. I just posted that the other day. So you, you, you are using this straight from a bottle? Um, yeah. So this is straight from the bottle. And then, but it does, you know, it dries out. So as it dries, you do have to add either more, you can use their paint powder activator, or you can add alcohol to thin it down again. So you can see how it looks more yellow once you're painting with it. Mm -hmm. Not it's as definitely much. yellow. Yeah. Oh. Did I freeze? You froze for a, for 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 a little bit. My back. But I think you're all just admiring the beautiful flower. <laughs> Feels like we are um, 
in a meadow somewhere. Yeah. I love daisies. So I think it was. I think daisy was one of my. If it, I think it was the first ever flower I did um, with the cookies. The, oh, really? The daisy on a, on a lollipop stick. I did. Oh. Oddly enough, it was for a funeral. Oh. Mm. It was to cheer someone. I, it was a, a friend asked for it. Yeah. Could you yeah. also use um, Nancy's asking? Could you also use yellow icing instead of painting? You can, but you're going to see here that I'm going to be blending the green into the yellow. So I think it's better to use the paint for this for like that more kind of realistic effect. Um, also, like, you know, when I don't feel like mixing up another icing color, I'll just paint it instead. Oh, yeah, this would be a beautiful as Black Eyed Susan, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, or those. sunflower too. I was thinking about doing sunflowers, but I was like, it's not really the time of year. Oh, there is always time for sunflowers. <laughs> I might, oh, uh, you know, know okay, but I, have some, I do have like a fake sunflower somewhere. Oh house. yeah, I'll save it yeah. for August. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just gonna go back in with the yellow again to kind of spread the green a little bit and blend it in. Does the paint dry out or can you pour it back into the container? You can pour it back in. I mean, eventually it will dry out. Um, but as long as it's still wet, you could pour it back in. Thank you, Byron. It's so sweet. I love the idea. I always wanted to make Care Bear cookies. It's oh. I, I so many different cookies. Yeah, Care Bear cookies are so cute. Thank you, Byron. Could you, Becky is asking, could you paint with gel food coloring mixed with alcohol or flavoring? Yeah, I do that all the time. So before I got these, I was just using gel color to paint. Um, and I still do use gel color a lot of the time. Would you mix it with alcohol then? Yeah, yeah. It gives a different look though, because a, a gel color is gonna give you more of like a watercolor. And these paints are opaque, so it looks more like acrylic or oils, you know? So it depends on what you're going for. I'm not 100% sure what you're saying, but I believe it is very positive. So gracias. <laughs> So the paint brand, it's called Sweet Sticks. Yes. They also have um, um, edible, like metallic paint. Kind oh, of like, yeah. like mm -hmm. you stop something, if you don't feel like mixing dry luster dust with vodka, you can also get different the kinds. Like they have last, uh, Glorious, is it Glorious? Uh, glamorous Gold. Glamorous Gold, they have like pink gold, different golds. And they also have an alcohol-free activator, which yes. I think um, some of our viewers uh, might, might, might like that. It's Sweet Sticks. It's an Australian brand, I believe. Yeah, right? but they ship so fast here. Like, it's usually here in a week yeah. when I order from them. Do you, Pearl is asking, do you ever get frustrated or do you always find, uh, I suppose, cookie decorating relaxing? Oh, no. I've been posting recently, like, a lot of my kind of mistake cookies where I'm scraping off the icing because it's just not doing what I want it to do. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah it's not I feel, uh, like I'm doing this frustration. It's like a frustration exercise almost. Like, why am I doing this to myself? Right. Because Sometimes things just don't work out because we experiment a lot to bring you these tutorials. These are beautiful. So it's not always uh, peachy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like with everything, I think, you know, even if you are a bake, you know, you bake, you know, there are days that your cake doesn't come out and um, you learn something new. And sometimes with these happy accidents, we often find something um, that we really like. Yeah, everybody's loving it. Thank you. Yes, there's, gonna, there's a replay. 
Yes, it's, it's sweet sticks. Sweet sticks, that's how, yes. Exactly. Yeah, it's just the brand sweet sticks, exactly. Good luck, Camille. Oh, okay, bye, Camille. Thanks for watching. So do you pay? Funny that you asked. We just we just talked about this. Do you mind showing your bottle? I love it. The water bottle. Oh, I mean, I didn't paint this, but wouldn't I this make a nice cookie? Could. Isn't that gorgeous? I think she could. She she should paint <laughs> water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, Amelia Wickstead, who is a um, a designer. I guess this is something you did in reverse on, on one mm. of your social yeah. media. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But I paint, um, I have a hard time painting on anything but cookies, but I do some like abstract things sometimes. Yeah, I love abstract things. Wall art. Like, and you did that behind you, your wall. Yes, yes, yes. But well, it's not very, um, it's not like a, um it's uh it's not very intricate but it was it took us a whole day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to do one wall yeah i have to say yeah on the on the plate i'm sure these are going to look gorgeous yeah very much appreciated byron i overheard it's your birthday sometime soon so oh yeah birthday. happy birthday yes so again, as a reminder, we're going to be doing live twice a month, every other week. So the schedule is in two weeks. It's April. I can't believe it. In, um, just have to check. So in two weeks, it's April. So that's going to be April 11th. Do you know what you're making? Hmm. <laughs> it's an excellent question, as always. <laughs> Should we take some suggestions from the audience? Yeah. <laughs> maybe um, April, it's after after Easter. So maybe something Mother's Day related might might be a good idea. What do you guys think? Something Mother's Day? Oh, yeah, Day? Mother's Day would be nice. Day, um, I don't do, may, do you, yeah, April 11th is the next live. Yes, exactly. So in two weeks. But if you follow, if you, like I said, if you, if you have subscribed to the newsletter you for the cookie decorating, you will get a reminder about maybe hour and a half or depends before uh, the live. There, yeah. are, there, there are, I don't know if I would say hundreds, but there are probably hundreds of live streams you can watch. There could I be, think, yeah, like every week for three years. There is all at least a hundred. Well, because at the beginning it was twice. At the beginning we did it twice a week, so at least a hundred you can watch. From last year, there's also for for Easter. If you are getting re ready for Christmas, you can watch Christmas ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, there, there's so much content there, so it's all in a in a playlist, so you guys can enjoy that. Oh wow, Gladys, is that for real? So you are the Oh. third person now that I know because I just look in my calendar and I have two people there whose birthday it's on uh, April oh, 11th yeah. I'll see you happy early birthday Mother's Day would be good Care Bear cookies are a good suggestion yes Byron they are oh yes uh, let's see so have you ever, ever stamped a design on a cookie I have not have you I uh, so now I assume you are you talking of undecorated cookie or decorated cookie with a stamp? I mean I've done both, but um, yes, I I've done both. Mm. I mean on the cookie it's kind of tricky because the surface has to like depending on a stamp. If the the stamp is large, you have to make sure that the icing is super like even because then the st like if it's just a little oh. off the stamp is not going to touch the surface. So then you have to cut, it, it will be hard, but if it's small, it's easier. I've used it with um, edible markers or I had, um, I had bought a blank, um, you know, for the stamps, like uh, the, like the so and I poured like um, edible paint in it. And oh, with the, okay. oh, I don't know now I've been going blank. I mean, yeah, I don't know when it would, uh, pa uh, palette a paint palette or a, 
yeah. Okay. Was it like, did it have, was it empty or did it have like the squishy? Well, we had like a, you had to get like, a, like a, obviously if you, I'm using it with food, I didn't use a, mm -hmm. one that I used with paint. What is it called? I have no idea. For the stamp. Uh, okay, it's a stamp, stamp pad. Somebody rescue, rescue me, okay, already? Stamp pad. Oh, Clara, Clara video of it. Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Amber doesn't speak Slovak, so um, I'm just going to answer. I think that it's not possible to do a video in Slovak or in Czech. My friend can speak with this language. That was for somebody uh, who was asking. Stamping next week. Oh, you uh, you stamping next week. Oh, June, I so wish I could share your exciting news. Maybe, uh, <laughs> st oh, stamp pad. Yes, I mean, this is <laughs> given, right? Stamp, yeah, it's sort of like a sponge. Exa ink pad, yes, thank you. So, <laughs> so many names for it, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I have used it. Um, but um, for I would say like for small details, it's really nice. But like if you have a big stamp, like I said, the cookie has to be. I know Julia Asher is like an expert in oh, stamping. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you need some some inspiration or maybe some guidance, check out her YouTube videos. She has a lot of YouTube videos on the subject. So with that, um. Well, Amber is in in. Um, I'm in New York, so it's York. one. We start at one Eastern. Yeah, one 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 p.m. Eastern time, which is I always call it a New York time. In case somebody's watching somewhere else, so they can check when is one p.m. in New York. So we start at one p.m. I'm in Spain, so for me it's. Uh, oh no, my my computer runs on Amber's time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't get so it's seven. Um, it's seven forty um, p.m. here, so it's uh, evening. We are six hours apart, but I lived in states for twenty years, so I'm very familiar with the with the time. <laughs> but I'm surprised it's eleven thirty-five. I guess you must be in a different time zone. Well, Canada is huge. Uh, Gladys, it's uh, yeah, Canada is huge. Uh, <laughs> Gladys, um, it's available to watch um on youtube and facebook after the live every live is being stored there so you can watch it obviously we are not gonna be there we can't answer your questions and unfortunately i think on on yeah what's coming up here on the youtube that the questions that the chat kind of disappears i think what is this okay let's tell us about it a little bit that's where the the chocolate cookie recipe. Oh, is it okay? Is in here. It's also in the club if you want it. Um, and all the icing recipes are in here too. And I'm not going to ask you, but uh, well, am I going to ask you? I am going to ask you. I mean, because um, I just um, I just created a new recipe for chocolate sponge cake, and uh, it's coming. It's coming, guys. I I've got so many requests for it, so I've been testing like a mad woman, but. Um, <laughs> Do you prefer natural or Dutch cocoa powder? Um, just whatever the baking cocoa. Okay, from, whatever the baking cocoa. Yeah, okay. they, yeah. You don't have a preference? Okay. Does it make it uh, like a difference in your cake? Have you noticed? Yes. Mm. Yes, yes. I batched. I, I baked. I, I baked. <laughs> I baked several batches. Yeah, how I combined two words, bake and batch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I baked several batches, yeah, and it was a total game changer. It really was. Really? I mean, they're both, both natural and, and Dutch. They, they both taste wonderful, but with the Dutch, like, you, you can kind of, like, it's like it, the, the whole kitchen just, like, yeah, just walking oh, by. Yes. And it was just so mm -hmm. good. But natural, it's also very, it's just really good. I, I employed a technique that kind of, um, you know, the blooming chocolate, the cocoa powder blooming, so... It really mm -hmm. brings out the flavor of cocoa. Nice. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm just rambling now. Okay, let's see. Kathy, one more question. Can you work with a span cookie and have real icing come out flat? Uh, I don't know if I'm following. Are you following? Um. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if I understand the question. Oh, uh, Kathy, do you mean like where the cookie is stamped with the design? Well, that's what I get. Yeah, that's what I think Kathy means. So sometimes yeah, I, I even had those, yeah, for like those are really easy to use for, for different occasions. Okay. All right. All right, everyone. So um, don't forget to check uh, your uh, inboxes in two weeks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sending a reminder. Let me bring up this beautiful image of Amber's project. Thank you so much for being here. And you guys have a, I guess we won't really see you for Easter. So happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Yep. And, Bye. Uh, Bye, everyone.